Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So right now, guys, it's Tuesday morning. No, it's Wednesday morning. Sorry about that. That's right. Yesterday was Talk About It Tuesday. Hope you guys saw it. I got it up late, but better late than never, guys. So I hope you um, go and check that video out. Um, talked about some interesting stuff. Hopefully I can help somebody and, you know... Um, just, I don't know, shed some light on some things that I'm going through that maybe you can relate to. Um, yeah, so that's what that, that was yesterday. But anyway, it's Wednesday. And as you guys just saw, I made my breakfast. Scrambled eggs with ham and mushroom. Low carb, guys. Mostly no carb. I am going to have a little ketchup. Okay. Just a little bit. I need a little bit of ketchup. I think I'm just going to squeeze it like this this time. I think I use less when I do that. Yeah. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast, guys, and then I haven't figured out yet. I'm gonna take you guys along. I'm not sure if I'm going to. Um, I'm gonna do some cleaning in this kitchen. Okay. Um. Microwave, toaster oven, the refrigerator, everything outside the refrigerator, everything has to be wiped down, like thoroughly, you know, like a good, good, good wiping down. The microwave is a mess inside. So dirty. Just, it just needs to be. The tray needs to come out, needs to be washed. And all of that. So guys, um, I'm trying something new today. Right now, 
I'm gonna get my salt and pepper. Right now it is only a little salt. It's only 10.32. Now normally at this time of the morning I would be sitting on the couch. Still. But last night <coughs> Papa, last night I thought to myself you know what? I'm going to start out the day differently today because I want it to be a little different. So what I did was my routine is I come down stairs around 8, 10, 8, 15. And if I snooze my alarm, it's more like 8, 20, 8, 25. I come down. I let Cooper out of the crate. He goes to the bathroom. He comes back in. This is what I normally do. I call Jennifer because you have to call her five times to get her up for a Zoom. I call her and then I go sit on the couch and I cuddle under the blanket with Cooper. That's usually what we do. And I usually would still be sitting on the couch right now. I still would not even be up. But this today I said, you know what? I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna do something different. I let Cooper out, did what I had to do. I went on the couch, I did sit there a couple of minutes. I got, but I got dressed immediately. Um, I started preparing myself. Took up all my makeup because um, I don't know about you guys, guys, but at night, 95% of the time, I don't take my makeup off. I always usually take it in the morning off before I, you know, wash my face or whatever. So, before I put my makeup on, yeah. So I clean my face. I. I sat there a little while. I did sit there like a good half hour. But I knew in my head that I was going to get up and do what I had to do. So I got up, got my makeup mirror, got my, um, got my makeup and did my whole makeup, guys. See, it's my makeup today. Did my hair and just got, you know, got myself together. And, and then I sat on the couch for about, I don't know, like a 45 minutes and we watched some court um, hot bench. It's like a court show. It's really cool. I don't know if you guys have seen it. I don't know if you have it by you, but in, in New York we have it. Hot bench. It's actually, um, it's actually done by Judy Scheinman. She produced it. She, she, um, give me one second. I don't know anybody in North Carolina. Um, she actually, um, it was her idea or whatever. So now, you know, Judge Judy's making more money on another court show. Now she's not even on. Anyway. <laughs> and around 10, 15, I was hungry. So I said, you know what? Time to get up and make your breakfast. So that's what I did, guys, and this is what I'm doing right now. As you saw, I made my breakfast. I made my coffee. So. After I'm done with this, I'm gonna start getting some cleaning done. The kitchen definitely needs a once over. You know, you clean every day. You know. Give me one second. Come on. I to let the puppies in. Today, guys, not to change the subject, but today it's going to be crappy. It's going to be like in the 50s, I think, high. It's going to be what, like 60 today? Uh, I guess so. But it's going to be raining. It's cloudy. It's, you know, the sky is white. Yesterday was a beautiful day. Today is not going to be so great. 
So I'm just gonna get things done in the house and everything, and then tomorrow it's supposed to be nice again. Tomorrow we have some stuff to do. Again, he has to go to the doctor. I think my husband has to go to the doctor too and stuff, so tomorrow will be a little bit busier. So, yeah. So I don't even know what I was saying. See, I lose my train of thought so easy. Hi, buddy. Come say hello. Come say hello. This buddy. This bubba's. Hmm. Hey, bubby. He's a good boy. Oh, God. Here comes the bully. Here comes the bully. He sees he has somebody else getting attention. He's got to get attention. Oh, stop. Stop it. Now they're going to start wrestling. Watch mommy's tripod. Um. So, yeah. He'll be in and out. So the other day, I think it was Sunday. Was it Sunday they got baths? Julie gave them baths because they really needed it. And so they were all clean and everything. Last time we were cooking, Julie was making up a mixture of um, butter, um, um, garlic parmesan butter for um, for our wings that we were having. No, no, no. And. Um, by accident, she knocked it over and it spilled, and he happened to be sitting underneath the table, right by where she was doing it, underneath her feet. And it wasn't hot, so he, he didn't get burnt, but it got all, the butter and the Parmesan got all over his fur. So, I mean, it was late, so we weren't gonna give him a bath, but we, we scrubbed him with a washcloth with soap and, and everything. But all his, his fur now is like standing up. So it's, so he has to have another bath today. My daughter, since she spilled it on him by accident, she is going to uh, give him a bath. She doesn't quite know it yet, but when she gets up, hey, she's going to give him a bath. Because his hair was all sticking up and he was so nice and clean. But it happened. So, that's what's gonna go on for today. I'm probably just gonna do like a little cleaning, clean with me and, and all that video. No, 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 no. Oh God, the eggs, the eggs, the eggs. Get, get out of here. Get out lost. Move it. Get inside of daddy. Now he's going to my eggs. Here. Come on. Come on. I'm probably going to just do a clean with me and stuff. And then I'll end this video. And I'm going to do the roasted peppers video, guys. I'm going to do one video just dedicated to these roasting peppers. So excited about it. Love them. Um... That's it. He just went in the living room sitting on the couch. So crazy. It's really good. Two eggs. They're jumbo. Um, ham and mushrooms. I wanted to put spinach in it. Fresh spinach, which I have in the refrigerator, but you know what? Like usual, I couldn't find it right away, and I didn't feel like sitting there. I'm looking for it. So, no spinach. I'm gonna have to find the pepper soon too. They're under everything. So, I'll probably find the spinach when I find the peppers. That's all right. Comment down below, comment down below guys, what you're doing today. 
how you how your weather is where you are. Um, what are your plans? I'm just sitting here. And I'm looking, my revolving cabinet is open. And I'm sitting here looking at it and I look down and all of a sudden I see the breadcrumbs, which I was looking for yesterday to put on my mac and cheese. I couldn't find. And I'm staring right at them right now and they're right there. Like I didn't even see them. They're right, <laughs> right there on the bottom. Just pure, pure, pure craziness. Mac and cheese came out amazing. My son, my family said it's the best mac and cheese I ever made. I put provolone in it. Sharp cheddar. Milk. Cream. Get down. Milk cream. And butter. Hey! Hey! Get down! It came out delicious, guys. And there isn't that much left. I made a pound of, of elbows. Five of us ate it. So, it was good. Really, really good. <laughs> yep. So, eggs. The only carb I had was the ketchup. Yeah. So it's not bad. A little bit. I'm trying to see. We have five grams of carbs for one tablespoon, which I, I probably had a tablespoon. Maybe, I, I think I had more of a teaspoon. Yeah, three, it's like three, four carbs. And, um, yeah, and of course it has sugar in it, which is carbs and turns into carbs, but sugar turns into, carbs turn into sugar, I mean. Mm. Yeah, so very, very minimal carbs, but. I forgot to do this. I forgot to insert insert. This is what I'm talking about with diabetes. It's just a big pain in the ass. All right, so are you gonna eat now? Yes, I ate already. How many carbs? I'd say about, I always go like, like if I think I had seven or eight carbs, I go like 10, 12 carbs. You just go, oh, I always go a little bit extra because it can't hurt to give you a little extra insulin. That's just in my opinion. So I'm gonna do 12 grams of car carbs. And it's giving me, where is it? It's over here. It's giving me 1.70. I don't know if you can see that. This stupid glare. Yeah, 1.70 um, units. So my thing is over here. It's on this arm. Can't see it under my thing, but it's right here. That's my pod. And this has to be right, you know, ne next to it in order to um, inject the uh, the insulin into my my system, and that's it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get myself together, and we're gonna start cleaning. I dressed I dressed so pretty today to clean, huh? What are you gonna do? You gotta get up, you gotta get, get, get going, you gotta make yourself feel good, and this makes me feel good. I put a little makeup on, guys, see? Today I did, I did a little eyeshadow today. 
did something a little different. I don't know. And that's it, I'm ready for the day. Feeling good right now and hopefully the motivation will stay here and nothing will happen in my brain that I will allow to happen and we'll get moving. All right, so I'll be back in a minute. Let me get rid of this stuff and get cleaning. Hubby will be happy. All right, guys, so I have these mushrooms. I have a big package of mushrooms. I'm gonna put them that I use for my breakfast. I'm gonna put them in a Ziploc. Now, these look okay right now, but mushrooms turn very quickly, so. I have to make a decision. I know that Jesse from the Hodgepodge Life of Jesse, I've heard her say a few times that when she gets home, I think she takes, I think it's her, I'm pretty sure it's her, that she takes her mushrooms right out of the package and puts them in a Ziploc and puts them in the freezer because she, because she knows that, that they do go bad really quickly. I'm going to start doing that more often because a lot of times I throw mushrooms out because I have intentions of using them, but sometimes they don't, they don't last that long. And I don't want to lose them. I, I, maybe I'll make that bacon stuffed mushroom again that I made it, um, last week. That was so yummy, guys. Um, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. Um, maybe I'll use them in a meal I make tonight because I really don't want these to go bad. Oh, they're probably not going to fit in this Gossie bag. I should have got a bigger bag. Uh, maybe, maybe I could fit them. Um, and I don't clean them until I'm ready to use them because you can't, if you rinse these with water, they get very soggy and then they, they go bad quickly. Oh, okay. yeah, I fit them. But I'm going to put them in the front of the refrigerator so I remember I had them. These are just so good sauteed with garlic and, and butter or garlic and olive oil, you know, whatever. So good. Love mushrooms. So there we go. I'm going to put these in the fridge, put the shredded cheese back in the fridge, and there's literally one egg in here, so I think I'm just going to put this one egg in the um, in the butter thing in the refrigerator. This way I don't have to um, use that whole thing, put that whole thing in my refrigerator, which my refrigerator is crazy again. All right, guys, let's get the, the plate out of the microwave. So, so bad so bad soak it in here some hot water and soap soak a little bit and i'm going to be using fabrioso love this cleaner let's bring you over here so you guys can see more of what's going on here Put the water off now. Let that soak a little bit. Guys, this is really, 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 really bad. Really bad. Yes, I'm gonna sit on my booty because my back hurts. Spray this some spray this in here. What are you doing in there? You better be a good boy. He's unattended in there. He's probably gonna try to get into something. Probably gonna let them out in a minute. I see I watch them grow It's more than I know I think to myself What a wonderful world I love that song by Louis Armstrong I think to myself what a wonderful world. Hi, Koopy. You want to say hi? You going to come on camera and say hi? Hmm? Ah. Or Lulu. 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 Anybody ever here watch The Honeymooners? Comment down below if you've watched The Honeymooners. They were my 
favorite growing up. Oh my God, Ralph Cramden. Guys, if you haven't seen it, please Hulu it or stream it or whatever you do today. Find it and just watch it because it's so freaking funny. So funny. I'm tired already. <laughs> tired already. Let's get all these crumbs out of here. Obviously, this hasn't been done in a couple of weeks. Obviously. So, you know, the adult children that live in this house really don't do much as far as cleaning unless we insist which lately mom and dad have been insisting what are you doing Hope? because um you know we need help and they live here too it's not just you know so We've been on them. They've been cleaning the bathrooms more often, and that's really basically it. They don't do they don't do much really. Take the garbage out, and you know, help bring bags in and that kind of stuff. But I don't know. I don't know, guys. I was kind of a very complacent mother, parent, where my husband was more of the make them let's let have them do this and I would always I would always say no they're too young they can't do that that's too heavy that's this that's that and I really was really not that really wasn't a good thing because when you do that you enable your kids and you smother you know they're like they're like coddled in a way so they don't know you know I don't know what are you going to do you raise your kids how you think and how your heart and mind goes and and that's what you do and, you know, you realize later, hmm, maybe I should have did something a little bit different. But you know what? My kids are good kids. They're a good member of society. They don't hurt people. They don't steal. They don't cheat. And at this point, that's all I care about, you know? And um, that's it. That's what you want for your kids. You want them to be productive members of society. And when they, get, and when they get to their own house and they have their own stuff that they pay for, you'll see how different it is, how, how they take care of this stuff. You know, that's just how it always is. That's the way it goes. I'm pretty sure in most households. Let's do the bottom. Outside of this, can you guys see what I'm doing? Yeah. What's Koopy doing, bro, bro? What's he doing? Is he being BA? I think he's laying on the couch. Wiped down the ninja. We used it yesterday. Was it yesterday we had the chicken wings? Yeah. No. Yeah. So, wipe that down. Now I gotta get to this Gotsy thing. This thing, remember we had a fire in this? Oh my god, that's not fun. There's all kinds of stuff in here, guys. Look, it's like from pizza and, you know, like when the cheese like melts, comes down and it all gets in there. You have to make sure you clean that out periodically because if you don't, guess what? Fire! That's what we had a couple of weeks ago. Um in here. It was very scary. I was home by myself. I was cooking something. All of a sudden I smelled something. I look over and there's flames inside here. I literally almost took the whole thing. I unplugged it. I almost took the whole thing and threw it out the door because I couldn't get the flames to stop and I was so panicked. Um, Bill wasn't home. It was me and Jenny and it was very, very scary. And I figured out that um, finally figured out how to get water in there to get it out. I blew on it, it, it the flames came up on me. Um, it was just very, very traumatic experience. So now I make sure periodically that I get all the gook and stuff that's on this thing off because I'm 
I'm not gonna have that again. That was very scary. I had a very big fear of fire. I don't know. Comment down below. I mean, I'm sure everybody does. I mean, fire is, you know, fire. Not present. But I just constantly am worrying about it. Sometimes I lay in bed at night and I just make sure that, you know, I think to myself, God, is this, I don't want to, like in the winter, make sure stuff isn't by the heater and all that. I always, I always worry about that. I just worry about it. Scary. Very, very scary. But yeah, so you got to just make sure that that's basically cleaned out and check it, check it out, you know, and I can get so far in here, but, um, yeah, and so I feel better that that is done, let me rinse this, um, watch buddy, what, you, what are you doing, Kopi? Let me rinse the, woo, sorry guys, rinse the washcloth out. Yeah, it's a cloudy day here in New York. Cloudy, cloudy. Gonna do the courage now. And the oust the um, door of the of the toaster oven. I gotta get. Yeah. This, I love this thing, I'm telling you. I told you we got this for like ten dollars. Ten or fifteen dollars at a garage sale. It's a George Foreman. The guy didn't even know what he had. It was brand new. Hey. Um we got a steal. We got it for a steal. I cook everything in here, guys. I'm telling you. I even made cookies in here. That was the day that the fire had. I, I made, was making chocolate chip cookies in here because my oven wasn't working at that time. We were waiting for a new oven. And so I made chocolate chip cookies in here. And all I cared about was not burning the cookies. <laughs> Life. Life could be a dream. <laughs> what is he doing in there? Life could be a dream, sweet home. I don't like that you can't sing and you can't play music. You know, people, I hear people do, doing the, um, the music over and they have the song, you know, the music, and there are some songs that are really cool, really I boogie to. Um, but I, I, first of all, I don't know how to do it. I tried it once and I just couldn't figure it out. I, I ordered the, script, the, um, the prescription. Go back. And I canceled it because I didn't know how to figure it out. So I don't know how to put music on. I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. That's why I'm very limited when it comes to filming. But I do what I can to make it as good as I can for you guys. Get down. Get down. Get down. No. No. Get to be a boy. So um, I, it's just very confusing to me because I don't, I don't get, like, now, Mark, um, what was that? Oh, the spatula. Um, tell me if I'm wrong, guys, would you? I don't understand this. Maybe you guys understand this and can explain it to me. You know when people, like, you watch videos on YouTube that people are singing, right? So, how does it make, how are they allowed to sing like that, to do that, if... Kuba, if um, if you're not allowed to sing other people's songs and and stuff like that, how why are they allowed to do it? Is there something that they do? Do they have to pay for it? Do they have to pay for the rights of it? You know when they when they do music vi singing videos, I don't get it. If anybody understands it or anybody knows what it how it works, please explain it to me because I don't get it. I don't get it. You guys want to go out? Come on. Back outside. Yeah. Yeah, go play. I really don't get it, guys. So if you, anybody knows, please explain it to me. I'm really confused. 
Because I just want to sit here and sing, but I know that I can't. Only 30 seconds, 30 seconds or less I've heard. You won't get copyrighted or whatever. That's what I've heard. So, and you know, I, then I was playing, I, I have Alexa, and I was playing um, music very, very low, and it was good. Nobody heard it at first, and then I, the next couple of times I tried it, I did it, I had it too loud, and it was already on the video, so I can't do that again because I can get in big trouble. So, um, but if I keep it really, really low where you can't hear it and just I can hear it, that's okay. I don't mind doing that, but I don't know. I'm like, is it worth it? I'm always worried about it. And then if I sing, I'm worried about getting in trouble for singing. So I don't know what's right. Don't know what's right. I wish somebody would inform me what's right. All right, guys, so I'm going to clean off this water cooler. It gets so dusty and so crazy. All of that. We do have a thing for here. It's a, a little great thing, but Cooper constantly plays with it and takes it off. So we, we take it off because otherwise he runs around with it. Oh, I just hit the button. <laughs> I just hit the button, water came out. That's done. I realize how dusty things get. I seem to myself. What a wonderful Let's do the refrigerator. The refrigerator has to be clean. Um, let's do this over here. I don't know if I ever showed you guys this picture. This is me when I was pregnant. I was pregnant with, hmm, I think it was, um, might have been Frankie. Nope, not sure. Oh, wait, what year was this? Does it say? Oh, yeah. 95. So that's, um, that's Julie. I was pregnant with Julie in 1995. She was born December 95. And that's, this is July 6th, 1995. So I was pregnant with Julie. And Frankie was born in July. Jenny was born in May. Jenny's birthday's coming and she's ah, oh, she's already demanding what she wants to do. She wants to go out to dinner at Applebee's. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take her out to dinner, get her a few gifts, and that's it. And that's gonna be her birthday. Jenny had birthday parties for years, guys. Years and years and years. Birthday parties, probably till up till up till the pandemic. Last year she had a um, um, a drive-by. You know, we had a drive-by for her. But she's been she's been always bugging me for birthdays. She had bowling parties, and uh, I told her every other year, and now it's like no more birthday parties. Been doing it for for forever. So, we celebrate. We celebrate. All right, I don't know how much I'm going to do around this refrigerator. I'm not so into moving everything, but I gotta move some stuff around. I wanna get, let's move this. Now I'm gonna get this off. I'm gonna have to. Get a knife or something. Because I don't have any nails, guys. Mm. 
Okay, just so I can. I don't know that I. Really? It's like sticking. Oh, there we go. I ripped a little piece of it. Oh well. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when they come for you? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you, bad boy, bad boy? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? I don't know, run? What are you gonna do when they come for you? Run, just run. Run like Forrest Gump. Ah, Too old for this stuff, guys. Too old for this crap. Guys, this is my husband and I on our honeymoon in New York City. December 4th. Well, we got married December 4th, 1988. Look at that. Weren't we cute? So young. Yeah. Bill actually has hair there. Look at his hair. It's it's strawberry. Nah. It is. He, he insists it's blonde. Nah. Is that blonde or strawberry, guys? You tell me. Comment down below if you think that hair is strawberry or blonde. There you go. Comment, comment down below because I need to know because he always fights with me and says that it's that it's blonde oh when God. it's strawberry. It's strawberry red. Strawberry red. I can't believe my kids. None of my kids have gotten red hair. I thought I was gonna have a um, a red headed curly little boy or girl, but nope, blonde. Blonde and light brown is what I got, which is fine. They were adorable, my kids. My kitties were adorable, but they definitely didn't get the red hair. Billy's um, one sister had red, 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 red hair. His sister Jean. His sister Jean passed away, God rest her soul, we miss her. Um, she had red, red hair, very pretty hair. Very pretty. Guys, my back is killing me. Doing this, my back is killing me. Killing me. The dogs are barking. That's as best as I can do right now, guys. That's as best as I can do. It's better than not doing it at all, right? Get done when I can get done. And that's it. Oh, God. That one. I'm tired. This all this stuff's gonna fall. All these magnets and everything. Let me put that other magnet thing back. Put that there. Put the little pen there. And Here. We got these two pictures. I'm gonna put them over here. I don't know if it's gonna stick. Hold it. Yeah, I'll put this one on it too. You guys see what I'm doing over here? Well, that's not gonna work. I'll put this one on there. So it holds that in. And there we go. All right, guys, I'm just going to get these dishes that are done in here so I can put the microwave plate back in its place. And then I might pack all these canisters over here. My canisters 
get very dirty and I don't even realize it because I'm cooking all around there. Things are flying around. And like I said, you know, I try to be mindful each day and wipe things down, but it doesn't always happen. It doesn't always happen, so things get left behind. And it's all right, and the world's not going to end if you didn't clean your canister one day. You know, it's really not. And we all gonna be fine. I buy these guys. I buy sponges too because my husband likes sponges, but I like both these things from the Dollar Tree. This one happens to be from. Where do we get this brush from? Oh, this one we got from Walmart, but I usually get them from the Dollar Tree. And they're just as good. I use them all. I usually always use them without the We saw one um, like this at Walmart, so we got it. And it's very, very, it's much better. It's, st it's sturdier. The, the ones in the Dollar Tree are great, but they're just not as sturdy. They didn't have them last time. Yeah, they didn't have them. The last couple of times I've been looking for them, they, didn't, they don't have them. I mean, I don't understand. I hate them. I have them. Just like Aldi, like sometimes you, you get things there, and then you go back, and you're like, oh, I, I got to get that thing again. Yeah. Guess what? Sometimes you shit out of luck. Sometimes you get it once and then you don't get it again for another eight months or a year or maybe never. That's like the Dollar Tree a lot. A lot of times you find things and then you don't find them again. I don't like that. Like, you know, I'm not going to buy 25 at one time just, just in case that they don't have it. I might buy an extra one or two, but you know what I mean? I don't know. Life's imperfectness. What are you gonna do? Right? There are more important things to fret over. More important things to fret over. I need to buy some comments because these cans are getting a little it's time to really do a thorough scrubbing on them. My back hurts. <coughs> what are you gonna do? You gotta get things done. <coughs> oh boy, these dogs. And it's starting to rain now, guys. So we had to let we had to let the lunatics in. But any break in the rain, he's gonna be out today. He has to be out in and out today a lot because. You can see his energy level is very high. That's Brody. Sometimes he, um, Cooper will hit, like, you know, get Brody's lip or, like, it's the opposite. Um, Brody will get, Cooper will get Brody's lip. Brody will get Cooper's lip. It kind of hangs down, and you'll hear Brody, like, screech. in the microwave. All right, guys, it's all ready to go back in. Here it is. Nice and clean. There we go, guys. See? Nice and clean. So I feel better about that. Now let me get to the canisters. All right, guys, I'm gonna clean down these canisters. Look at these canisters. This is the flower one, look at it. It just gets all crazy because, you know, it's right by where I cook and everything. And like I said, I don't, you know, if I don't do it daily, then it, it becomes, everything gets caked on. So I gotta try to remember to do it, wipe it down daily because 
It just would help in the cleaning process. But you know how that goes, don't you? Take the top off, clean the top separate. I love these canvases, guys. Aren't they the cutest things? Hope you got them for me for Christmas last year. I just love them. Love the chef. My girlfriend, Joan, my bestie, my girlfriend, my best girlfriend, I went to her house um, when I first, when we first got together again. We hadn't talked for years and years. We just lost touch, and which I don't even want to talk about. It was awful anyway. But when we got together again, I went over to her. She lives in, in PA, and when I went over to, to visit her, um, I saw her kitchen was loaded with all the chef stuff. I fell in love with her. I fell in love with her. While I was there, I got some stuff in the chef. We got some, I got some pictures and stuff like that. And then um, when I came home, I just turned the kitchen into a chef magnet. And then my husband got me these. And... What are they barking at? You have got, if you have dogs, guys, you know. You know what it's like. So let me get all this caked off flour off. Be careful that I don't get anything in the flour. <laughs> get all this. Pretty good off. idea. What? Not get anything in the flour. Yeah, that would be good. Where are you he going? Abs absolutely leap leaps like he's a horse. I don't know where he thinks he's going. He. Don't even think about doing something bad. You know you are. Don't hurt his feelings. He's just crazy right now. He's used to uh, sleeping on the couch right now. This is like the time when I'd be laying on the couch still. And most of the time I'm not up by this time, so. He's extra hyper. I know. Smart yet. Mrs. Oh God, Jenny's coming down. Mr. Spot. Yeah. Right there. Something. There you go. Here comes trouble. <laughs> Jennifer Fee. You're mean. You're mean. <sighs> you're really, really mean. Uh, she's gonna want lunch. Hi. 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 Hi, everybody. Come say hi to everybody. I missed you. Hi, Daddy. I mean, just saying hi to everybody, guys. This is what she does when she comes down from program hi, and gives hugs. Go away. Go away. Hi, Ow. Hi, Dad. She's chasing her dad for a hug. She, she hi, caught hi, it. Hi, Daddy. I'll give you a hug. <laughs> hi, everybody. Oh, that, that bark is going right through me today. Mom, Daddy. Can you put that up and they can see me? You gotta sit in that chair over there. They can see you over there in that chair. Hi, Bobo. Hi, Kobe. Bye. Hi. You say hello to your fans, huh? She's gonna say hello. She's trying to get her. Oh, I just, you know, she she to wants to be, you know, in the in the view of the camera. Like she has to, you know, she can't just. Hi, guys. Nice to see you guys again. Hello. I just got done doing. Do, 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 do. Just got done doing Zoom, and I have to go on Zoom later. You gonna have lunch? Let's go yeah. down and wait. What do you want for lunch? I don't know. Here what we go. Ow, oh, why are you wet, Robo? Here we go with thinking what she wants for mommy, lunch. Mommy, Robo's wet. Yeah, because they were outside and it's raining a little bit. Um, uh, mommy, where's my notebook? Move that thing. Give me this thing. Jen, give me this thing before it falls. I'm gonna find my lips because I wanna write something. Nice and clean, guys. All right, there you go. They look so Bye. white again. Look at them. Have a good day, Daddy. All right. Be careful. We'll see Bye. you after therapy. Bye, Daddy. Yeah. Be careful. There you go. Love you. Love you. Love you. Bye. You oh my horsey. God, leapster. You stay horsey. <laughs> He's not horsey. Oh, yeah. Love you. Be careful. Jenny's making her list out because she's she's making a list out for the Dollar Tree guys. I don't know what she thinks she's doing. <laughs> Cooper, Cooper, Cooper. Oh, he's right. let's, I got it. let's put the canisters, these two back. Oh, look. Oh. <laughs> he 
he's in the morning mood. Bro, bro, you need to come over and give me kisses. Let's see. No, I don't want your warranty that I don't have for a car that I don't have. Mom, what are these things called on my head? Hi, Julie! Hi, Jules. Good morning. Uh, those are headbands. Give me, I'm going to write on my lip. Headbands. I don't know. Okay. Head. You know how to spell head? H. E. Good. H. E, e A, A D E B a separate word B B I got B Okay A A N N D D S, S. Thank you mm -hmm. And what else on the right by Molly? <laughs> markers because I need more markers. You I you need, need markers. But some of my markers are almost going to dry out. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. It only has about 18,000 of them. M. Try to stand it out. A. Markers. A. R. A. A. K. K. E. E. R. S. Thank you. Markers. This is how much I have on my list. Let me tell you. Hey, what does he got? Oh, sock. that's the sock. He's, he's ripping the sock. Yeah, he's okay. eating it. That's all right. Ew. He can't eat it, but he we ate. gave him some old socks he's, that we don't need anymore he's because he's always chewing it. He's he always get it, get it get out of his mouth. I don't know He's like, always he just, tr trying to. Um, I can't get it out. He's eating. Steal it. socks, so we give him well, old I socks. I can't get it. Well, I don't want him eating it. Yeah. Oh, Brody is playing with Oh God. Okay. Well, another thing so far I want so far. I tell you? Mm -hmm. Number one is paint. Yeah, I know you told me all this. I'm trying to tell you. Okay, paint. paint DVD. Mm -hmm. Beads, because I can make bracelets and necklaces. Ah! necklaces. Next one is wood. Because mm -hmm. remember, I like to paint those things that they have wood stuff I like. The wood ones? Yeah. Yeah. Um, paint brushes. Mm -hmm. I need paintbrushes because I'm almost going to like, I need more. Where more. are those paintbrushes so I can show them how many paintbrushes you have? I don't know. Where are they? Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, they're in there. I put them, we put them back in there. Guys, look. look she nice. needs paintbrushes. More paintbrushes. Really? Does, does, now, comment down below. Does she need paintbrushes? Well, don't say no, that. No, she doesn't. Yes, I do. Loads and, and this, guys, is, is not even all of it. She has a I big container more, upstairs with all kinds of paintbrushes. Oh, I do and need more. Paint. She, if she doesn't see it, she doesn't think she has it. But she has it. Believe Mommy, me. I do need more. I do. What is he doing? Colby, what are you doing? Oh, he's got the sock. I just want to make sure it's not my couch that he's okay, doing no. up. Paintbrushes, headbands. Headbands, yeah. To put on, I like these colored ones because mm -hmm. they, I like these. They fit my head. Yeah. And the markers. Markers, okay. That's it. All right, I'm going to put these canvases back on the counter, and then I'm going to show you how nice they look. Goofy. Look how nice, guys. Look at how nice the canisters look. Mommy, I'm hungry. All right. So they're all nice and clean. Very excited about that. They're very oh, happy on this mommy. little spot here. All right, I got to make you lunch. How about chicken nuggets? You don't have um, stuff to make a sandwich? No. Mom? No. Chicken nuggets today. That's what it is for lunch today for her. Why? Or, let me see. Why not a sandwich? You could have a wrap, actually, if you want. A wrap? You want a wrap? Cold Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll make Please. you. I'll make you a wrap. Give me. And, uh, and chicken nuggets. No. All right, you can have one wrap and a few chicken nuggets. Um, yes, I said. I said you can have wrap and chicken nuggets. All right, guys. I'm gonna make Jenny a turkey wrap. A lunch. I got lettuce. I got cheese. I got turkey. I got the wrap. And we got ranch dressing. Well, these two are playing tug of war again. Tug of war. Who 
I swear guys, I, I just, I'm just always making a mess. One. Always making a mess. Three, okay, okay. What are you doing? You want the toy in, buddy? Go get the toy. Go get it. We got turkey. Let's put some cheese on it first. Some shredded cheese. Brody went to Kofi went to get it. Some turkey, Hi, guys. Now for you, okay? Yes, so adorable. Put my four slices on there. Mommy, Cooper is so adorable. Okay, put some more cheese on here. A little bit more. I don't even know how good this lettuce is, honestly. Okay, let me look at it. There might be parts of it that are still good. Let's see. for a second because it it makes the um yeah it makes the tortilla um more pliable to to you know move around and stuff so let's do that and then we'll turn it over and then i'll give it to her and i'll see if i have nuggets she wants nuggets too that's the crazy guys she drives me crazy i love her but she drives me crazy Nice and melty. Let's turn it over this way. I'm going to turn it this way, kind of tuck it in. I'm going to push, turn this, the side right here, the, the end here, in. And then turn it like this. And just tuck. Turn and tuck. Turn and tuck. There we go. Mom, Kobe is so strong. And I think to myself, I heard you. What a wonderful hey, world. I'm putting a little ranch. Hey, I'm putting a little ranch on this to make it almost like glues to make it stick. Yeah. This way. What? I was asking you something. I don't know, honey. I know what I want to do. Yeah, I know what you always want to do. Come in and get your food. Do you have water in your thing? Bring it in here. Bring it in here and I'll put water in it for you. Mommy. Mm. Now what I want to do with you. You guys? I want to bake with you. I'm bringing an appointment for the nutritionist. Uh, All right, guys. So I just made Jenny her lunch. I'm just sitting here now relaxing. I did the canisters. I did the microwave. Did the refrigerator on the outside of the refrigerator. Um, I think oh, that's all. Cooper. Hang on, one second. Um, I think that's all I'm going to accomplish today, um, probably on camera as far as cleaning goes. I'm going to do the roasted pepper video. It's only 12 noon, guys, so I got a lot 
done today, very productive this morning, and I really, really like this routine better than the other routine. So I can't promise every day I'll do it like this, but I would like to because it really does, it really does make a difference when I get a lot accomplished earlier and um, then, you know, sitting around until two, three o'clock procrastinating and procrastinating and procrastinating. You know, I just find that like it's, it was much better doing it the way I did it today. And hopefully I can do that every day. I'll, I'll strive to do that every day. If I can't, I'm not gonna beat myself up over it and what it, whatever it is, it is. But those are my goals, to, to do that every day and to try to get up and get moving quickly and get things done in the first three hours of, that I'm up of the day. I just think it's a lot more um, practical and it's just, it's a lot, you know, better mood-wise and everything for myself. So, um, yeah, so that's it. So I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna clean up this mess that I have on the table here from lunch. I'm not gonna make lunch yet because I had a full breakfast and I'm not, really, I'm not hungry at all. So I probably won't eat till one, two o'clock or something like that, have a little lunch. Uh, I'm not sure what yet, but I'll decide, I'll figure that out. And I'm gonna um, clean up this mess again and I'm gonna go get the peppers out of the refrigerator and start the roasted pepper video. So excited about that, guys, they're so good. I know you guys will enjoy it, and hopefully Cooper will not eat them this time. I will make sure of that, guys. I think we'll eat my roasted peppers. Oh, Mommy, that's Cooper heard his, your, his name. He hears his name and his ears go up. All right, guys, so if you like this video, please don't forget Mommy. to hit that like button on the bottom and the, the thumbs up bu button. What? Can I say something? What do you want to say? I want to say something. Come over here and say something. Jenny has to get her two Oof. cents in. Uh, how are they going to see me? The head like halfway. Thank you. Hey guys. Um, it's nice to see you guys again. Um, we, maybe me and mommy, me and mommy together. We're going to maybe, if we do something together, I want to bake with her. I want to bake these brownies. They're really good. What are they called, Mama? The chunk brownies. The chunk brownies, and they have, you can put chocolate chips. All right, and say goodbye. You'll see them on the next one. <clears throat> we will see you back in like 20 seconds or something. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Okay? I will see you soon. Bye. Okay, come on. Bye. Oh, okay. All right, guys, so what I was oh, saying wait. was, no, you're done. What? Oh. Um, what I was saying was, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on the bottom if you like this video. And don't forget to hit the notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every single time I upload. Also, guys, listen, for those who have asked about my P.O. box, no pressure or whatever, I'm just telling those who have asked about it, um, I, I just want to tell you my address again. It's Linda Fee at P.O. Box 66, Chester, New York, 10918. Um, Lin Linda Fee a P.O. Box 66, Chester, New York, 10918. All right, guys, so thanks for, for supporting me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Gonna make roasted peppers. Yum, yum, yum. Bye, guys.